Hey guys, Bill from Travel Monkeys here. I wanted to show you something pretty cool today. Most of you are familiar with a typical uh, decompression needle. This is a 14 gauge, three and a quarter inch. This one's made by H&H and &H it's marketed as a tension pneumothorax needle. So they market these, you know, for trauma specifically, but it's not much different than a standard IV catheter. So it's a three and a quarter inch, 14 gauge with a, you know, sheath over the top that just slides. And obviously you insert this, you remove the needle and the catheter stays in place. So a typical needle. And these sell for about $9.99 or so. Um, I know North American Rescue makes one. They market it as an ARS, an air release system, but kind of the same concept. It's also in a similar size holder. The one I wanted to share with you today is a newer one made by H&H, &H, and they're calling it an enhanced pneumothorax needle. So the case is a little wider, a little bit bigger. It's blue. Um, but what's different about this one, there's no IV or no catheter over the top of it. So it's 14 gauge, three and a quarter inch as well. But what's interesting, it has this tip on the end that is spring loaded. And I'll, I'll kind of move my fingers here and see whether or not you can see that. So the theory here is I'll use this to kind of simulate the patient's chest wall. If you were trying to do a decompression to relieve symptoms, um, you would find your landmark, obviously, and you'd insert your needle. And I'm, I'm not going to hold it up top where you would because I want you to be able to see this spring. I'm going to hold it kind of here. So you're going to insert this. And of course, as you're going through, you're going to meet resistance, you know, going through that intercostal muscle. And you can see that blue spring moving. Hopefully you can see it. And then as I'm going through, I'm feeling that resistance. And then as I come out the other side, there's an audible click and you can see the blue spring move. And that's because the tip is no longer meeting resistance and its spring slides forward, you know, once you enter that pleural space. And the theory behind this is it would stay in place. It has a one-way valve in it that would vent air off and not allow air back in. And hopefully it would continue to provide symptomatic relief. I'll tell you, I haven't tested it. I haven't used it on a real world patient. They are gonna publish some data and some statistics, I think on some swine studies on it. It'd be interesting to see. And the other thing about it, you can look at it on the H&H &H website. It's gohnh.com, I believe. Um, but they're listing it at $39.95, you know, compared to the standard needle, which is about $9.99. So that's a pretty expensive price point. But again, something interesting, something new. Figured I'd share it with you today. As always, stay safe, trauma monkeys.